Hi. Uh, you know what? Let me start this off by saying don't buy anything suspicious or sus, if you must, because if you do, that makes you an imposter. And plus, it's illegal. You could go to prison. So uh, anyway, let me tell you my story. You know, I was a big fan of those Minions movies or films, cartoons, CG films, whatever you want to call them. I, that's not what's important right now. You know, I had all kinds of Minions toys, but as I got older and I realized that that doesn't exactly get you dates, I got rid of them. You know, but I didn't just get rid of them. I threw them in the rubbish. Do do well, I must say an incident. Now, trust me, you do not want to use any internet shopping platform after this to buy any sort of minions or Despicable Me related items. Trust me. So I was searching for new films and I'd recently heard about that minions movie that sold like a zillion dollars. Oh, yeah. Well, I went to an online internet shopping platform, but my mother said, no, I may not go there. My mother liked to call them scam bags in a way to censor the word scumbags near me. She was a independent fundamentalist Baptist, would only read the King James Version of the Bible. She believed it was very useful since my mother did believe them to be full of scammers. Well, I didn't listen to my mother. I mean, how many kids do? I was a kid. Cheeky idiot that I was. I decided to go on my mother's bank account. I feel guilty just saying that. I saw everything she did on there. She wrote down her password in the notepad of her PC, which obviously is something you don't do. I mean, hello, that's freaking cybersecurity number one. Let me go a bit further. Here's a summary. I buy her a copy of the so-called Minions film. I get it in the mail within the next few hours, even because I did the immediate shipping thing. Now, the movie was located in England, you know, so it only took a few hours since it was from Norwich to London. I get it. Mailman was confused that a child bought something from an online shopping platform. He was very skeptical. So I, in fact, just end the conversation and go, who cares, old man? Pop the movie into the DVD inserter, as I like to call them. We English have terms like that. Before I did so, I recognized that it said minions rejected and not just minions. Now that, now that might seem really weird to you. I just thought it was a special sort of version thing was, I was a kid, I was a bit naive, and I didn't even know what the word rejected meant, because I've always been socially accepted in life. You know, but then I noticed that something was not quite right about it. I mean, it was no different than the trailer, but then something caught my eye. It didn't really start up. For a few seconds, all I saw was a black, empty, ominous cloud. I knew it was different hmm as the video started the usually yellow minions were actually a bit red they looked like they'd been beaten had grew beaten them up don't blame me i don't know one was fully skinned and had a smile on their face and looked like there was a nailed bat on the floor there were chains on the roof this was not appropriate of course there was no room i could only save it in black and white the red minion had bitten the other minion as seen and also been beaten by the nailed bat. Could this have possibly been a Final Fantasy VII reference? Terrible thing is it was the only the opening, you know? And God knows why. You know, something far more sinister and terrifying could carry the shadow. They seem to have found a piece of minion flesh lying on the floor. Banana, one said. I believe they had mistaken the minion meat as bananas because they look starving and very poorly carried. I was shocked, and not just shocked, but disheveled. I didn't find this normal. How could this be by illumination? Of course, it couldn't be. You know, that same funny kid friendly company, could it? I found this very abnormal. You know, at that point, I, I already, I already felt like I, I just couldn't watch this film anymore. But then it got worse. We see the insides of what looks like a realistic factory blowing big black smoke out of stacks into the surrounding environment. So that's what the black cloud was all about. I couldn't help but feel as if I could smell smoke coming out of my DVD inserter, but it 
it, it, it must have been a delusion, right? As the film went on, I started to black out, except for one thing that I will never forget. As they gave us a tour of the factory, they meet hooks, assembly lines, robotic arms, what looked an awful lot like an Inspector Gadget clone. Once we get to the very deepest part of the factory, the bowels of the factory, there were little yellow pieces scrawled around on the ground in a corner of a room that looked just like the bananas from earlier. I was about to shut the DVD off at that point, but there was one other thing that caught my eye before I could get up and slam my DVD inserter into pieces. In red on the wall, there was writing, and it said, Minions equal bananas. And below the writing was the severed hand of Groove.